Walsh are in support of, of uh, the library hour. Gina Woodward does I didn't not want to say want anything. To speak. Didn't want and, to say anything. Uh, let's see, she's also in support. Um, Denia Martin does not want to speak, and she's in support. Uh, Rita Clement does not wish to speak. No, they don't want to speak. And though. she is in support. Becky Becky Thin Tim does not wish to speak, but she's in support of the library, right? Patricia Huffman does not want to speak, but she's in support of the public library program. Maggie Baker does not wish to speak, but she's in support of the library um, program. And Carolina Thomas, um, Carolina Thomas. And she'll be fo followed by Vanessa Ramos. <coughs> Good evening. Um, my name is Carolina, and um, I always when I present myself in front of people such as yourself who have authority, um, I always call in the name of God because He's my Father. Amen. He's our Father, and He created us. He created this earth, this world, the humanity. And um, when we all die, when we go in the presence of the Lord, He's not going to ask you to show him how many titles you have, how many degrees, how much money you made, all the wonderful works you did for that community. If, they, if you have something such as this right now, it's as immoral as it is, as destroying the dignity of our kid, of our children, you will go to hell if you don't repent. Okay? So you need to repent. God is going to ask you, how much did you love? And by doing this and supporting this, it's not love at all. Nope. Love is God, and God is moral. He made man and a woman. He defined every, everything perfectly. He made it perfect. And we, with our moralities, are destroying God's creation. And we have no right to do that. That's right. Man. Okay, so that's one thing I want to say. And we Christians, we're going to, this is our hour, and we're going to stand up. And yes. We're fighting now. And we're going to succeed. And God is going to give us a victory. Because even though we seem like we are so little, he is going to give us a victory. Even though that homosexual religion is all over the world, mm -hmm. he will listen to his faithful. Yes. And even though we're little, we will win. Because he's going to give us a victory. Another thing, we don't hate homosexuals. We don't hate anybody as true Christians. From Catholics to any denomination, we don't hate anybody. We are true Christians. What we want is to open your eyes to the truth. Mm -hmm. So Jesus sends us here. God sends us here as his disciples, as his apostles, as he did with the um with the um with the prophets before Jesus was here. He sends us here to let you know you're wrong. You yep. need to change, yep. you. repent, convert, and come back to God. Thank yes. Amen. Followed by Michelle Huffman. Good evening. My name is Becky Rapp. I'm a parent and public health educator who works in Chula Vista. I am here to speak in public comment, but wanted to first note my support for the City Council joining the lawsuit against the BCC, the Bureau of Cannabis Control, regarding their preemptive decision that marijuana could be delivered anywhere, even if the city didn't allow it. This is in clear violation of Prop 64 ballot language and promises. Now I'm here tonight because last week, the U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams released a report to raise awareness of the known and potential harms of marijuana use posed by the increasing availability of highly potent marijuana. I would like to read from the report, and I have a copy for each of you um, to take a look at. The marijuana available today is much stronger than previous versions. The report says that concentrates used in waxes, dabs, vape pens, and edibles can contain more than 75% THC. And in San Diego, I have seen it advertised at more than 90% THC. Wow. Going back to the report, the risks of physical dependence, addiction, and other negative consequences increase with exposure to high concentrations of THC. Higher doses of THC are more likely to produce anxiety agitation, paranoia, and psychosis. Remember, these are the words of the Surgeon General, not my words. 
Frequent marijuana use during adolescence is associated with changes in the areas of the brain involved in attention, memory, decision making, and motivation. Chronic use is linked to declines in IQ, school performance that jeopardizes professional and social achievements, and life satisfaction. I am very concerned that young people will not properly be protected against the commercialization of marijuana in Chula Vista and respectfully request that the city have enough code enforcement and law enforcement personnel to scrutinize marijuana business practices and eliminate all advertising. I also, for the record, want to voice my opinion that I am opposed to the drag queen story. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.